Psalms 83. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hargarines Har Har Gabel and Ammon and Amalek, the Palestines, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Asher also is joined with them. They have hoping, they have helping the children of Lot. Lot. Alright. And with that, I want to give all praises. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha. Give double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Keep on pushing. We're closer and closer than we've ever been, man. It'll be here right before we know it. Um, which we started out with Psalms 83 because that's what this lesson is going to be about. It's going to be about how these nations have taken crafty counsel. And one thing is said that these nations are confederate against the Most High. And how did they do that? How did they come out and start uh, uh, cutting us off from being a nation? All right. And it started with uh, uh, slavery. Can somebody get Deuteronomy 28 and 68? Because this is the first time well, starting with the so-called white man, uh, uh, with the Grecians after Alexander the Greek died and his generals took over, that was the first time in history our people did not know who they were. But this right here in this particular time, us being in America and scattered all over, this is the first time in history that none of our people knew who they were at all. None. So, uh, 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 we gonna get into how exactly what these nations were doing and what is, and, and exactly how it affects everybody today and what they're still doing. All right, go ahead, bro. It's Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the weight whereof I spake unto thee. Right, in Egypt, and what happened to us in the land of Egypt? We were in bondage. We were slaves. All right. So with ships, he was going to bring us back into bondage, man. All right. And yes, this applies to the northern tribes, too. Because what did they take to get to America? Ships from Assyria. And guess where they got a slave enslaved at? In America. All right. So by ships, they still were, came to America and were enslaved. For you guys out there who like to talk about all the tribes of black because of this prophecy. No, they came here on ships too. And they were enslaved here. Alright? Just like us. We came here on ships in chains to be enslaved. The people who drove us uh, 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 here on the ships were not slave owners. The, 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 they were hired to transport us here to our slave owners, man. Alright? That that shall see it no more again. Mm -hmm. That should be that should be so unto you. So to you, and so unto you be slaughtered. That shall see it no more. That should be so unto your enemies, bond men, bond women. No man should buy should buy you. And when it says buy you, buy you mean redeem. No man shall redeem you. So can't no, it ain't no way out of this. 
JP trying to make a way. Nah, there's no way out of this, man. But it says you should be sold to your enemies. All right? Now, what's one way Esau was cutting us off from uh, uh, letting us know who we were? Number one, he stopped calling us Israelites. Called us nigger. Called us any other name, but he didn't call us what we were supposed to be. And he didn't call Gad. And uh, uh, you had James Adir uh, going around uh, with, with mainly Gad. And, of course, Reuben, too. But mainly Gad, he was among them. And he called them, uh, he said they were Israelites. And they demonized the guy. Called him crazy. And said he only wanted to see what he wanted to see. All right. So with that being said, when we were in slavery, Esau took our children. So the ones who knew that they were Israelites, their children were sold to different plantations. The northern tribes, their, their uh, 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 people were forced to submit, man. All right? Were forced to submit or die. You know, so anybody who wanted to push exactly who they were, we Israelites and all that, they got put to death, man. And they did this the same time in, uh, in the time of Antiochus. We got put to death for circumcising, circumcising our children. Yo, you get put to, you, uh, back in that time, you got put to death for having the uh, uh, law in your house. You couldn't even have the law around you to read. You couldn't have the scrolls. You couldn't have nothing. <clears throat> and this time it happened to the nation as a whole. Back then it was still, you had the Pharisees and Sadducees. You had a section of people who knew they were Israelites. But now, that's been completely wiped away, and that's going all the way back to that crafty council. These people, where they did sciences on us. All right, you got uh, two quick ones. Okay. <clears throat> hey, this is uh, Matthew 25 and 5. It says, while the bridegroom tarry, they all slumber and slip. Okay, so once you have a shower, return back to the spirit world, mm -hmm. what happened? Eventually, you know, we died off. Lord mm -hmm. wasn't real part of the elect. And basically, we became discontinued from our heritage. And what proves that point? Um, this is um, Second Ezra 7, and I'll just get to the point in 30. And the world shall be turned into the old, you know what? I'll take that back. Second Ezra 7 and 29. After these years shall my son Mashiach die, and all men that have life. And the world shall be turned into the old silence seven days. So what is seven? Seven is a complete, uh, it means a spiritual number as completion. And it states that the world shall be turned into the old silent seven days. What does that mean? How the shot died, and then the prophets died. Okay, and then what happened? The truth was no longer upon the earth. The light actually went out. The, the earth became dark, spiritually deaf. And that's going into the brother's lesson, man. You know what I'm saying? Because with that process, we all became discontinued from our um, heritage. I'm just going to uh, prove that point. Like as oh, in, way. you know, kind, kind. Like as in the former judgments, so that no man shall remain. And that's the point. Mm -hmm. You know. <clears throat> and in order for these nations to do that, <clears throat> part of their council is they couldn't go around calling themselves by their biblical names. So Esau couldn't say I'm Edom anymore, you know? Uh, 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 the Chinese couldn't claim Moab anymore. The, 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 the Persians couldn't, um, couldn't uh, claim Elam or Japheth or any of that anymore. They couldn't do any of that, man. So they had to change theirs. Even though you mainly see the, 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 the Arabs and the East Indians and all of them, they mainly try to still hang on to what they uh, believe in, and they know that we the Israelites, but at the same time, uh, the leaders of their nations too, like I say, they were all confederate against the Most High. They stopped calling themselves by biblical names, and they changed the, uh, uh, they changed the times, and they changed the names of the lands, man. So, yeah, now when Israel's coming up, and Israel ain't got nothing to go by anymore. That's right. Because you, if they had their biblical names, you'd be like, okay, this is Edom. This is that. Well, then who Israel then? Mm -hmm. We must be Israel. 
But now if he's black and he's Chinese and he's a white man and this is they, they re-educated right. everybody. Yeah. Exactly. So who is Edom? Who who Moab? Who the fuck is this in here? That, that's how you gonna be. Did they die off? Cause Esau even tell you that Edom died off. Yep. Or he he'll tell you stuff like this. Like what happened? Where Moab at? You know? They know, they know, I'm going to say this, you know, because they know, it, it don't know that you have a share of nation against them, so they want they want to get far from that, that, that eat them right now, because they know you have a share to destroy them, so they're right, like, right. eat them and done. So they know, 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 I got a quick one just to back you up, God. sorry bro, go ahead, go ahead, uh, this is uh, Isaiah 25 and 7, and he will destroy in this mountain, the face of the covering cast over all people mm -hmm. and the veil that is spread over all nations. Yep. Because there's a veil spread over all nations, man. And it started with the with the with pretty much the kings of these nations, the elites. They was like in order to in in order to uh, uh stop them, hell they even had to sacrifice the knowledge of their own people. So that's why when you see a Chinese man or an Arab man or a Japanese man or or or, or a so-called white man, they don't know who they are. They don't know they eat them. A brother Paul Chinese man. Spirit. Uh, don't a Chinese man don't know he Moab. A Japanese man don't know he Ammon anymore. You know they don't know any of that. <laughs> but if you go past the 16th century, like uh, like that uh, uh guy was breaking down. He may be a confusion of face though, but when you break it down, these Ishmael called themselves Ishmael back then, man, in the 1300s, 1200s, and all that. They were calling themselves that. Time. They knew who they were. We knew we were Israelites. Time. Anglo Saxons, angelic sons of Isaac. So when we was ruling in the Dark Ages, we knew we were Israelites. Uh, you know, everybody knew. Even if you look up Iran on the etymology dictionary, it's going to go back to Persia. Now, the word Persia itself is in the scriptures. Which Persia, that's going back to Elam, but like the elders getting into, you could go in, that's, that's a, you know, pre, pre-slavery history, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and like I said, recently these nations have changed their names, man. Yep. And the lands. Uh -huh. Changed the name of the lands. You know? Esau came in and changed it from the land of Ham to, to, to fucking Africa. All right? <laughs> he named that after him. That's what Esau was doing. Esau came in and changed the name of rivers. Changed all this stuff, man. And that's why the scripture states that Esau is the goddamn devil, which mm -hmm. is deceiver, man, because that's all you do. You know, basically, you do everybody in the scriptures except for yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? And the elite, they have all the records, so they know that through the, through the spirit as well that we know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, we come straight to the scriptures, and based on the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, we're able to identify you. Okay, this is Moab according to the scriptures. This is Ammon according to the scriptures, so on and so mm -hmm. forth, man. Yeah. And I, now you have no identifier. Go ahead, Ashiar. Uh, this is Joel 3 and 3. They have cast the lots for my people and have given the boy for a harlot mm -hmm. and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yup. Uh, uh, yea, and what have ye to do with old Tyree and Zidon and the coast of Palestine? If I can add those where at first they was considered as climatic you know what I'm saying, countries, but then now they're inhabited by those fucking so-called uh, mm -hmm. Arabians, which goes back to the nation of Israel, man. Right, yeah, that, and that was in the, when the Ishmaelites in that first scripture, Psalms 83, they mm -hmm. were yep. like one of those, one of the, mm -hmm. uh, As a matter of fact, in 2nd Ezra, uh, I believe it's chapter 15, it says, woe to Babylon and Asia. So yeah, that, They'll say China and the U.S. ain't allies, but they ain't everything together, man. Yeah. Everything that they do, everything here come from China. They all in this shit together. Right. Then you got uh, uh, the, the Saudi Arabians. They got oil deals going on, man. 
You got the rush. Everybody got deals going on with each other. All these nations that supposed to be enemies and all this, they all have deals. When one of those Saudi Arabians bring their camel riding ass up here, uh, uh, they give them a loan, fifty thousand plus, to uh, open up their own business, gas station, or whatever they want to do. Same thing with the Hamites. Hamites can come here and open up uh, uh, shops, computer businesses, salons, and all that different stuff. Moab, they get to come here, and, and, and Moab and Ammon get to come here, open up their restaurants, open up their uh, 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 nail shops, and all that different stuff. But what do you get, Jake? That's because all these nations are confederate against right. the Most High, man. They confederate against our power. Huh. And them being against our power is definitely damn sure mean they're against us. They're joining hands with Esau. Mm -hmm. So they help each other out. That's part of the deal. All right, well, if we going to keep this up with you, and we going to keep them, you got to keep your end of the deal then. All right, so we going to all, when it, you can put your U.S. embassies and shit here, and then you go here, you know, we'll allow McDonald's. We'll all be in this together. They all in it together, man. All right. And like, like you said, you know, they, they come over here, you get visits and everything, and do they pay taxes? They pay no fucking taxes. Mm -hmm. Jay can't get a goddamn um, a liquor store. Jay can't get a goddamn uh, car out right there. Jay can't get a thousand dollar loan. Right. They can't yeah. pay a five hundred dollar loan. <laughs> right. They, 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 Jay got to jump jump through hurdles. They got to run on crocodiles, goddamn swimming sharks to mm -hmm. get a fucking loan. But the other nation, they they can get what they want, man. Jake just trying to get Medicaid, man. You know, it's welfare, you know, just food stamps, man. And they making it hard for Jake to get that. Mm -hmm. They get a lot of you know? food stamps. Man. Why Jake can't have a gas station, you know? Why Jake can't have something? You give him nothing. Probably just add mm -hmm. this. And what's that called? Minority incentive? It's minority song where they give... Uh, the other nations and sent us to come over here, man. The middleman middle, minority. Middleman minority. And the thing is, it's like a, a substructure over uh, Israel. Because like the elders getting it to, why can't they give it to uh, Jake down here in America that built this country? They're supposed to give it to foreigners that had nothing to do with the, the birth of America. Okay. But it's, it's another, it's, it goes back to the hidden ones in the Confederacy, and it also goes back to keeping your ass from power. Right. So, Everything that you can have in your own so-called community, Esau gives it to the heathens, and they 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 have that over you. So that's another structure over your over, over your culture, man. Mm -hmm. That keeps you from having any type of power, man. Any type of group economics, man. You know. Yeah, and I've been to uh, Belize. I've been to the Dominican Republic, and you know who running shit over there besides the white man? Moab. Moab over there with shops. With Dominican food buffets, man. They in Belize. Guess who's in Belize? The German so-called Edomite. All right, he's in he's in Belize, and, and and you know what? And what they told me while I was down there, they said the so-called white man, he's he's kind of like a, a, a Amish, like he the German so-called white man down there is like Amish kind of. So what he does is he pays. He got all the money, so he since he don't believe in using the modern technology and all that, he pays uh, uh, Asher and, and Benjamin, the, the tribes is down there, he pays them to do it for him. Like, damn devil, man. Like, why would you pay somebody else to do shit that you don't believe in doing? You know, but that's the devil. They run this whole thing. They all confederate with each other. They got their hand in every goddamn thing, man. Hey, hey, man, hey, I, I hate Esau for this, man, because they, they run, Esau runs the world market. Esau runs the world economy. Every race, every uh, nation has a, a piece of the world economy. It's up to 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. Those fake Jews, they over that diamond in industry, man, that diamond district, the, the diamond cartel. They mm -hmm. control that, man. They got a, a documentary on the Oppenheimers. But the nations they have the world, they control the world's economy and the world's market. It we don't we don't we don't have nothing to do with that. No, we just consume. We just mm -hmm. we just the ones that go buy with all the products they make and put out. Yeah, like they got the movie How to Sell. I mean, the documentary How to Sell to a Negro. They got it down to a science. 
how to sell their product to you, man. Right. They took your own nation. They took your own nature to be flamboyant and ostentatious and, and, and royal and that regal, fla uh, fla what's they call it? Those flamingos? Right, right. Israel is like a spiritual flamingo. Right. They took their trait and sold their products to you, man. But you don't have any say so on the resources, man. You don't have any silk forms. You don't have any fabric companies. Yo ass clock in, a little extra money you get, you buy from Esau, man. You you have no footprint in the world's economy, man. Yeah, Jake has a, a barber shop. Yep. Jake got a goddamn uh 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 like a baby a fish house, yeah, barbecue thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, he he got you know, Jake got small stuff. He got a, he, the biggest Jake might get is a, is his own construction thing. Get yeah. mowing yards and painting houses. Yeah. Jake do slave stuff, man. He he getting crumbs, man. So like and like the brother Michael Alla said from LA, for Issacar it's a taco stand. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Right. yeah they got but, taco But y'all don't have a fucking form, correct me if I'm wrong. But y'all don't have a fucking form, man. And the the other bitch in barbershop, y'all like how uh, Judah that that so called black woman get out of that weed, Jake ain't got no uh he don't have no say so in the in the importation of that weed, man. Right, right. He don't he don't he's not in control of that. Yeah. Elon, that's between Elon and Esau to get that over here. Like a billion dollar industry, man. And they and they put those uh Koreans. Yeah. And uh yeah. see they got the Koreans and they got uh Moab and Ammon doing this shit, man. See, right, right. You see that takes, weed thing. That takes away your power. Jake over here getting rails in their car, and Jake can tell you what's under your hood, but you can't figure out why a damn heathen is selling you all of your necessities, man. Everything that you buy for yourself, a heathen is in your neighborhood selling that to you, man. You ain't no fucking boss, man. You ain't no big dog. You ain't shit. If you got sent over here in a slave ship, you ain't shit. So you need to humble yourself, man. Mm. That's part of taking any type of power you could have in captivity. Esau took that and gave it to a heathen, man. They sell you a damn cigarello with the corner store. You got a Muslim selling you pig's feet. Yeah, nigga, this you you ought to be embarrassed. You ought to be if you're on a twelve tribe sign, you ought to be ashamed right now, man. Oh, so like, oh, no, 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 you you're spot on, brother. Hey, we we have no power, no. zero power, man. You know, you see this guy Tyrese crying. He want to see his baby. It don't matter how much money you got in this society, man. Hey, he saw he saw come down on you. He'll take your money, man. It ain't nothing you can do about it. You know, it, it ain't nothing you can do about your children. What your children are getting educated with. Or any of that. It ain't nothing you can do, man. Then, what the most Jake can get out of this society, if they want to be rich, is uh, be an entertainer. Which is another way as a slave. Right. Because that ain't no way to live. Because if you become famous, everywhere you go. <laughs> uh -huh. Same clock back in. He was on break for a while. Oh, they don't do this on Fridays. We good. <laughs> but yeah, you got uh oh, it's going back out. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah, yeah, we good now. But uh uh even this guy <coughs> two chains, he was like, I don't he was like, I love my people, but I don't want to sign autographs in the bathroom. So yeah, you know, it, like look what Esau did to you. He pimped you out, man. Right. Like so you don't even really get to have a peace of mind. You can't even just go out and enjoy yourself. See, Esau would be worth goddamn billions and nobody know who he is. Mm -hmm. He could just walk among you and you, this thing, she. and you would just have to guess. Oh, yeah, that guy got money. You just have to guess. Oh, yeah, that guy got money. But, yeah, the, the point being, this is exactly why people don't know who the hell they are, man. Come on. Hey, you got that one example of uh, the Ellen show, the Ellen, Ellen Degenerate, mm -hmm. that bitch. So, basically, uh... The Migos, they were the guests on her show, and pretty much they was holding up stacks of money. And I want to say she held up like what, like four or five dollars, but they holding up stacks. So the the richest person on that stage is holding up a few dollars. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. But 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 that bitch is she she got money, man. She got a fucking platform, man. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But I mean, you gotta understand too, man. Like uh. Like our nation, we're under the fucking curses, man. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's beautiful as well because it actually uh, justifies who we are as well. But at the same time, friend, like you had this old Edomite. She ain't made it. I mean, she was like a fucking actress, like in the early 1900s or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, she died and she still had loot. 
and ain't made a fucking move in 30 years. Now let that be Jake. Ain't dropped the album in six or seven months. Goddamn, he back in Taco Bell, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's just, it's just, it's set up, man. We are destroyed as a nation, man. And that's why we're uh, awaiting for Yahweh Shah to return, man. Well, Jake, Jake will be, they'll be hot in the 60s and 70s. And they still doing shows yes. today, 2017. Right, right, right. That's right. At local casinos and shit. Right. Temptations yeah. and shit, man. Yeah. Lil Boosie. Right. He went from making millions a year. His net worth was, got up to about 10 million. And now he what he making like eighty thousand. So yeah. yeah, that's horrible, man. Look at Tyrese. Yup. You know he saw had him in a fucking dress today, man. <laughs> nigga on media take out with a red dress on with a goddamn black coat on. And shit. I wow. mean this, this dude done been in like <laughs> damn near all the Fast and Furious. Right. He done he done been in two three Transformer movies. Mm -hmm. He done had a classic Baby Boy mm -hmm. that everybody talk about. And look at him, man. Nothing. Nothing, man. He done cramped the trick on him. Yeah. <laughs> trick him, man. And another mm -hmm. thing, he had albums. He, he's... Oh, yeah. And, yeah. yeah, he sung, yeah. yeah. So... And he had some decent music before yeah. before he started hitting the movies. Yeah. So, yeah, you ain't nothing but a slave, Jake. Mm -hmm. They done stripped the power away to craft the council. You have to enslave yourself. They use you against your own people because you over here talking about, yeah, I got money, you work hard, you put your mind to it. They make you tell these lies and your people stay in an enslaved mind state, man. And the other nations, they're all just looking at it. You know, Saudi, uh, hey man, those Saudi princes, man, these dudes literally got pet cheetahs, man. Like a, like a leopard or a cheetah in the back seat or they front seat just sitting there, man. Gold Ferraris. Right, gold, for real gold, real fucking gold, man. That's our gold, That's right. our temples, and they riding around, man, and in our shit, yep, stunning, going hard, and all that, and you get a million dollars, and you shit on your own people, Jake. You do exactly, you fall into the trap, man. Oh yeah, we get screwed. This uh the book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse forty three. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and mm -hmm. thou shalt come down very low. Exactly, and the Lord told us these things, man. And that really applies to now, man. That's what it's really talking about. We should mm -hmm. come down Next very week. low. Cause when you see us, this is the lowest point in Israelite history that we've ever been in, man. Man, you, I'm talking about, we at least used to have some type of control, man. At least knowing who we were. You know, at least, at least, even back when Esau was coming down on uh, uh, Israel and took away the laws, at least a woman couldn't be over a man. God damn, now, this bitch got a job. Keisha don't care about you right. she doing better than you because she even got a deal with, with, with Esau man she's even confederate against thee man mm. alright yeah, uh, you know going back to being brought very low you know like the whole stigma thing mm -hmm. Esau say we're a criminal so we ain't shit I own um, everything you thirsty so you ain't shit like you have no you have no status in her eyes Yep. So, like you said, that's they ha that has happened nowhere in history to where Esau and our women was over us, man. Mm -hmm. And then it also that goes to show you the balance of Yahweh Hashem Shah because Esau, you know these other nations, you know these women of our tribes can say they ain't never had the power seat once we get in the kingdom. Everybody has ruled us, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why, uh, <laughs> and that's another strategy that the nation has used. They turned our woman against us. And they said in order for our woman to prosper, they got to put us out the house, get rid of us, and all this different shit. So what does that mean for our children now? What does that mean for our daughters? If your daughter don't know a man to, to, to look at and be like, okay, this is how mama's supposed to be treated. This is how 
Daddy always acts. Daddy is always about the father's business. He always talking about the Lord all the time, the wickedness. She don't see that. She just see a woman with a different nigga in the house all every other week or every other day. It's a different nigga. So what she grow up doing? Same shit. You're a product of your environment. Mm -hmm. Whatever you see, that's what you turn into. Exactly. And the men, once they get old enough, mama can't do nothing about it. Can't, can't do nothing about him. Right. Especially he get, he get kind of strong and all that. What are he going to do? I mean, if she put him out the house, the street's going to take him in. Right. His homeboy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what's going to happen next. Going to slain. Going to rob. Yeah, Esau got a whole... I'm, I'm not even 30 yet. And it's a whole new generation coming up under us, man. Like these twenty-one year olds, like this is like rapping and all that. These I don't know all their names, but these cats like 20, 21, 22, 23, they'll have a little buzz going, but they like the, the image for the new breed of Israel, man. 21 red and blonde dreadlocks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In six months you gonna die. You know what I'm saying? You die on some Instagram shit. Like, it's a whole new wave of it, uh, two-thirds, man. A whole new wave, wave of degeneracy, man. That's what Ezekiel was saying in the Valley of Dry Bones, man. He was saying them niggas. Yeah. Along mm -hmm. with, you know, yeah. our people, you know, prior to the lit coming into the, the knowledge and understanding, man. But that's what Ezekiel was saying, man. That when you look and see these two-third niggas, man, with these fucking ponytails, and you can't uh, differentiate from a man and a woman within our nation, man, this is the valley of the goddamn dry bones, man. Yeah. We are these people, man, that the Bible speaks yeah. of, man. And Esau or the elites, you can't get around it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Holy Spirit, along with the scriptures, confirm we are destroyed people at this time frame, man. Esau created mm -hmm. anything you see today that has influence, yeah, Esau engineered that. Right. He engineered the whole 21 Savage movement, man. He's engineering that because it's causing so-called self-inflicted black genocide, man. That's right, though. It's causing, he's creating a culture. He created a culture that, that has a system within it that causes us to destroy ourselves, man. Mm -hmm. you know? they, well, they don't have to even do nothing. They don't have to mm -hmm. even do nothing. That's that's the nature of so-called white supremacy, man. Right. When you when you start a business, the people that start the business create a system in which they can put people in different positions to operate off the system they created. So they, so they sit back at the house watching their company operate itself. Residual right. income. Residual income, passive income. So same thing with America. Esau created these systems in America to where it operates off itself and it's causing a prison industrial complex. Right. You know, it's causing different things, causing what well, cancer, this, that, and the third, but nobody can point at an individual. Right. They can say, well, man, we're killing ourselves. But Esau mm -hmm. created these systems in which it, it 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 works for itself, man. Right, right, right. You they know, they ain't got to even. They got to do shit. They just sit back and be like, shit. Mm -hmm. I don't want to listen to that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. still need drugs. Right, right, yeah, I be preacher and how that. I don't even do drugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 you didn't say it. My only purpose is I already am crazy. This yeah. shit come on uh, in a repetitious manner all through the radio. So it's in your oh, ear. It's going so through your spirit. It's just pumping oh, you, pumping yeah. you. Man, you want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just that's your that's item that's man. That's now you by you by yourself. Now you like, well, how? Purpose is the field. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. Plus, you you eight or nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, where you ain't got nobody to you know guys with. So they so you know, the, the radio and she be teaching you shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's a crafty trick, man. See, he saw them discover witness. I mean, wickedness on every level. Yeah. Because he knows through the scriptures, just like King David was able through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Al-Shah to play the heart, right. to get that evil spirit off us all. Well, hey, on the left-hand side, you can place evil spirits uh -huh. on people, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because, yeah. mm -hmm. matter of fact, we were talking about that last week. Because uh, a couple of brothers in this camp, you know, um, we make music. Instrumentals and different stuff like that. So we'll listen to somebody in the world's instrumental then play one of ours and even the brothers you know they was listening they was like man that's a completely like i, I feel different mm -hmm. like it, it feels i don't know cleaner they couldn't really explain it. but it was like a different energy a different vibe so and it wasn't because the music was 
sounded completely different and diff uh, stuff like that. It was just the energy that was coming from it, man. So yeah, Esau knows how to do it on the left hand side. Like I say, all this stuff was taken in place to keep this people here. That's why we should count ourselves. Oh. Now you can feel what you're oh. saying, but I wanted to make a point after oh, you're done. Right. That's why we gotta count ourselves blessed that we came into this truth. Hey man, how? It ain't it ain't shit we did. We were born here in America, the worst of the worst, man. We were born here in America, and out of all this shit that Esau did, the crappy council and all that, we find out we Israelites. It, it just, it clicked, and we just understand it. It's just that plain. Yeah, we the Israelites, man. That had to be Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah getting his men back. He's like, he's like, all right, America and this confederate, this confederacy with the nations. All right. All right, the two thirds and the wicked, it's gonna get them, but you can't have my elect. You can't have them. You know that's why even the elect, when we grew up here, we were wicked. We 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 didn't know. The whole nation got washed away. And even if you watch that movie of uh, Birth, Birth of a Nation, with Nat Turner, what they have him doing, and other preachers, and other Jake preachers, they had them being false prophets. Keep the slaves under control. Because you had slaves who wanted to uh, 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 be like, man, I ain't taking this shit no more. You know? So you had, uh, 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 they had to send the false prophets in, man. And you see them T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, uh, uh, <laughs> Eddie Long, yeah, he dead now. But yeah, yeah. And what's another one? Another one of these big time preachers. Well, I can think of somebody local, uh, Dwayne Pickett. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Dwayne, yeah, down here, yeah, Dwayne I'm Pickett. Serious. So, yeah, you got a whole bunch of false prophets out there under the 501c3 charter, even amongst Israel, man. People like Nate and Yohanna and all that, they are the 501c3 charters, man. You know? And they, they leading our people to the slaughter. So Esau got disinformation and traps and everything everywhere, man everywhere to make sure that we don't come back. That's why you got so just in case they do find out the Israelites, we got some shit for them here. Traps. We we got Nate. <laughs> you know, we got your honor them. He gonna we gonna we gonna get these guys right here to shoot guns and gun range. Uh get guys like Nate to make them give them a lot of money so they could try to Make a society here in America. Lead them, lead them astray. They don't need to be trying to make their own kingdom. They need to be, make a kingdom up in here. Same thing, man. But yeah, go ahead. Kind. Yeah, the brother Michael Allah had said the Tavistock Institute creates the trends that come and go. You yep. know, with that that back back to what you said, how they have their influence over Jake. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, to answer this person, Duke the Shadow Slayer. You coming in the spirit of a scoffer, man. That's why we didn't respond to you. Can you get the scripture out? This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 23. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they that they do gender strife. Right, so you saying, do you believe Israel exists on other planets? What the hell does that have to do with anything that we're talking about, man? You know? You know, I mean, that, that's a foolish and unlearned question. And according to the scriptures, we avoid that. That's why we didn't answer you. And that's to you, uh, Pineal Revelations, whoever the hell you are. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pineal Revelations. Like he missed the whole lesson. We talking about how we oppress on earth. Why we worry about Israelites somewhere else? Exactly. Exactly. Work Monday. Yep. Yep. Just like you niggas that think the earth is flat, man. Same thing, man. We we down here on the earth. We we going through hell, man. So what does that have to do with any damn thing, man? But just to speak on earth being flat, the, the the book that you preach out of states that the earth is circular, okay? But at the same time, you still say the earth is flat. So my question is, if 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 that's true, what you're saying, then you have to go through the whole scripture. Is Esau really uh, the so-called white man? 
Are the 12 tribes willing to 12 tribes? A little leaven. Hey, I mean, a little leaven, hey, hey corrupts yep. the whole doctrine, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. hey, everything that y'all are, are actually uh, preaching, you have to go back and, and break all that down, man. And yeah, you're going to start questioning everything. Yeah. And, and speaking of, it's like you heard about other planets. I was uh, watching the news earlier this week at the job because they play the CNN news for the uh, children or whatever. And, uh, Jake's still being sold into slavery in different countries, man. Like they, yeah, they they catching Jake. It, it ain't Hamites. It ain't the other nations. They catching Jake while they lost or or, 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 or poor or right, right, homeless, right, right. and they selling their ass into slavery, man. They said they sold like twelve people. We sold twelve people tonight. I yeah, seen that shit. Mm. and they they sent this other uh, Israelite. Uh, uh, she was a. a West African, but she was a uh, Israelite, and she was a uh, spying on. She had the hidden right, camera right, and everything, right, right, right. acting like she was a buyer or whatever. So yeah, um, they selling Jacob to slavery still, man. Jacob over there in hardcore bondage, man. So yeah, this this is what we talking about, man. Right. This is what the the oppressor, the enemy, is doing. Mm -hmm. And they and Jake now they're hoping that that Esau and the other nation's gonna do something about it. Man, they ain't gonna do nothing about that, man. That's big business. You seen it in the movie Taken. You had sheiks. You had Saudi princes over there trying to buy little virgin girls, man. <laughs> they didn't care where they came from. They knew they was, they, they don't care if they kidnapped slaves or anything. They finna make them slaves. Finna make them nothing but a concubine. And if they murder them, who gonna find out or nothing? Hey, this, this stuff, it's happening. All right. But it ain't happening to little white girls and shit. It's happening to Jake. All right? <coughs> the same people who, who the world is confederate against. And, it, and the man is, is pretty much the, the, the spinal cord to this nation. All right? And that's why the man is ruled, ruled, ruled out, man. Completely. Yep. And we we were slaves. Mm -hmm. This ain't it, this this went from being a down plantation farm to a corporation. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we're corporate wage slaves. Right. So now this country has evolved into a corporation. All right, now we're the corporate wage slaves. So most of us have enough money to pay our bills, and we're forced to go back to work. Mm -hmm. Hence the scripture of Baruch was was subject to payments. Mm -hmm. Esau studied energy, and he, he it was a book I was reading. Esau pretty much figured that um, the human body works off comfort. And whenever the body is at discomfort, that's what drives the human. What drives the human is when he's at discomfort. So when you need your needs met, that's what pushes you to go out and make things happen to get your needs met to create that comfort. So like when a baby has his comfort, what does it do? It cries. So as a human, Esau keeps you in a state of discomfort to keep your ass working. They, right. figure, they figure they can maximize the production they can get off you if they pay you enough to barely pay your bills. So now you're forced to come back to work that Monday, man. Huh? Yeah. And, and he also played it both ways. See, this devil is a master at wickedness. Uh, uh, the scriptures in, book of, in the scripture in the book of Proverbs, it states that uh, a rich man's strength is in his riches and the, uh, and the poorest Destruction is by his poverty, man. So Jake, destruction is by his poverty. Right. Jake, Jake watched the movie Scarface, and I was telling this brother about it last week. Jake watched the movie Scarface and completely forget the ending that happened. How dude right. got gunned down and everything. Jake only realized the kingpin, and in his head, I would have done this differently. Right. Like, no, nah, man. Jake goes right into the trap. Yeah, I'm gonna see what the trap looking like. Mm -hmm. That that, that Scarface movie was one of them crafty tricks too though. Mm -hmm. It was the uh, control agent, the, the the push drugs for the for the for the cartels and the way where that was back in the eighty whatever when when the countries and she was out here when Reagan, when Reagan was really had the dope. Mm -hmm. He used that movie to put both his dope. 
Spud for America. That's all the rap music was. He, ca- he came to America mm. and he blew up off the door. Yeah, and that's what the whole move, the gist of the move was about. And it, and it was it was Reagan them dope, and they were just promoting what they they probably. And yeah, that's a beautiful point too. <laughs> and part of that crafting council is the relevance, man. Because what what's his name? Al Pacino. Yeah. His character. He came out of poverty, right. and that's what drew Jake in. Right, right. That, that would attach you to the movie. This man came out of poverty in Cuba, and he came up. Mm-hmm. So and when the Israelite watched that movie, that automatically draws some out of him. Right. Like that movie Paid in Full, them boys came out of poverty. Yeah. And in the movie Paid in Full, they watched Scarface. Right, right, right. But that shit was real, man. That was a... a, 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 a. That was the new sky face, you know what I'm saying? A new, a new control where they can just keep on keep this shit rolling, you know what I'm saying? Though no, we gotta put another one out there. Yeah. New sky face, don't know with the most black folks, and you know what I'm saying? They they like this shit, you know what I'm saying? No, you don't have white folks here. Like that Jeezy movement, <laughs> Jeezy, Jeezy ain't nothing but like a, a product manufactured by yeah. Esau. Right, right, they pushed right. that coke out, man. When he was hot, man, like push that coke, man. Yep, and they they goes back to that false uh, left right paradigm. How Esau basically controls both sides right. because, like you said, those movies and these different manufactured uh, entertainers, they're used to uh, promote and push that agenda. But see, uh, but Esau he'll lock you up for it, right. and at the same time, he controls the war on drugs. He controls it. He mon- he monopolizes off of that. All right. But then get our music to tell you to sell drugs right. and kill a nigga who step on your shoes. Meanwhile, and, and oh yeah, and the fuck other dudes women. Matter of fact, and y'all, uh, everybody might not know, but if you go, if they married, like according to this society, if you go and sleep with that man wife, you know he can press charges on you, man. Like he can sue your ass. So if you got anything, well, R. Kelly got hit with that not too long ago. Right. Got down here, mm-hmm. which is probably a setup, but it don't matter. He shouldn't have been fucking the dude's wife, man. You know? You can get sued for that. Yeah. Matter of fact, a whole... Like, if, if even if it's two people on a job, God. if you're on a job and you mess with some dude's wife, not only can you get sued, and the job can get sued, man, oh, for letting it happen. Because yeah, right. they the reason y'all linked up. Yeah. So anything Esau telling you to do, in, like, in, through our music and everything, is all leading back to jail. Right, right. <laughs> it's all leading back to you dying. Jealousy, the rage of a man. You can't, you can't give him money. If you, if a man walk into the house and you over there on top of his, uh, or on the back of his wife, hey, all right, you don't know what what they've been through. You don't know how much he loved them. You don't know how much he invested. Right. How much money? You don't, you don't know nothing. That's one thing that'll make mm-hmm. a man mind flip. Mm-hmm. Right. First Ezra is four. It wasn't the wine. It wasn't the king. It was Keisha. Mm-hmm. That's that one thing that make a, a any man his mind flip, man. Went out of his wits. Yep. So yeah, what ends up happening? Pow! Jake blasted you. Mm-hmm. But all that getting into all these different things, these are all. This is all the shit that Esau doing today that keep you being a nigga, not an Israelite. It keeps uh, you yeah. being a nigga. And we done had a lot of brothers, so-called brothers, fall out the truth. Because they want to go back into that trap, man. Like, y'all done. Like, you, you uh, man, you big on the Jordans and all this different shit and trying to look good in this society. You ain't looking good in this society, man. You know what I'm saying? Wearing a Breitlin watch and that, that wasn't yours, by the way. But all this different stuff. Man, look where you're going, man. In, in your Dodge Challenger and that you wasn't paying for, by the way. But... Look what you're doing, man. You can have a Lambo. And you ride the Lamborghini, man. And who you impressing if you drive it to the club? You're impressing hoes, man. You're impressing bitches who only want you for your money. You're impressing bitches who done had so many different men before you. Hey, if you was the man, if you were the top dog, you ain't going to have nothing but virgin women. Exactly. You ain't going to have nothing but land and cattle and a bunch of women that, that live in the same house. A bunch of them, as many as you want, with a bunch of children. Child support is not a thought to you. All right? Can I bring this through, Chuck? Go ahead. Oh, Brother Hector, hold us Yeah, just go ahead, brother. Go All ahead. right, 2 Timothy 4 and 10. For demons have forsaken me, having loved this present world, 
and his departure unto Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. Mm -hmm. But the, the point is, man, you know, uh, Yara Dunn was a guy that could break down the prophecies and break down the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire. But nigga, you couldn't unplug from the very empire you was breaking down, man. Right. So that whole logic of getting all these cards and oppressing these whores, is that Israel culture? Or is that Roman culture? Is that Babylonian culture, man? It's that Babylonian shit. So you come yeah. here, you are claiming to be Israelite, but you got a damn hairline, man. Israel paradigm, we don't even think about hairlines. That's part of the crafty council. That's that Egyptian shit. Right. Yep. Get your hairline. Look like a fucking African. Look like a Hamite, man. All right, that's that's what that is. That's why they want Jake. Get your hairline, Jake. Shave your beard, Jake. Cause what? Who put the eyeliner on? All that eyeliner shit. Where they get it from, man? Fucking Egyptians. And what do they call us? Africans. Jake walk around lying their fucking head up, man. You being a fucking Hamite, man. That's what the Canaanites did. That's why I tell us in our law not to, not to do that. Right, 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 right. You fall back into the world that took crafty counsel against you and your power, man. That makes no sense. You know? Go ahead, bro. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 14. The captive exile hastened that he may be loose. And that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. Break it down, bro. Come on, man. And, and we are the captives, man. All right? Mm -hmm. And, and any, any Israelite ain't right mind, we haste to get loose, man. All right? When you start studying the house of David, all right, the house of Solomon, and even other righteous kings after them, man. All right? Israel hasn't made moves, like the brother was saying, all right, uh, on the global scale, all right, in, 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 uh, in years, man. Probably since the so-called Dark Ages. You know, since the right. Dark Ages, no. And they were making moves then, man. But at one point, we controlled the world economy, man. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. So, Jake, uh, be obsessed with this lifestyle. You know, with FRN notes. You know, you're not doing nothing, man. All right? You're not really making moves. Jay-Z not making moves, man. That nigga's a corporate slave, too. Mayweather not making moves, man. You know? He one back space away from being broke, man. All right, he that you guys don't have a true substance, man. We don't have no power here. You ain't got no control over your kids. All right, you ain't got no control over your woman. All right, Mayweather went to jail because of what? Of a woman, man. But he got all those hundreds of millions, man. Let you know we don't have no power here, man. Right. You know, so the, the 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 captive exile hasten to be loose, man. And that's us, man. The Israelites, we prisoners of war, man. This ain't not set up, man. Kind of. Mm -hmm. And going back to uh, what they got said on the comment board, which uh, you was reaching, man. You know, just be humble. All right? It's going to start on the planet Earth, but in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to live on other planets. As for right now, all Israel are here. They either here or they in the spirit world. All right? You know, so, hey, man, keep it simple, man. Um, we got to get home base straight first, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem is infested with heathens. All right, and, 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 and abomination, man. All right, because even when we do branch out, Jerusalem still going to be the headquarters. That's you know? the headquarters, That's right. why you had uh, uh, those devout Jews in the book of Acts come back to Jerusalem, man. Yeah. Because it was commanded us to always come back to Jerusalem three times a year, man. You know, so we got to get our home base situated first, man. You know, the city of David, man. You know, right. Zion, man. We got to beautify our homeland, man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Stay simple, Jake. All right? Stay, keep it simple, man. Hey, the Lord said don't get, well, Paul said he hoped you don't get tripped up. I'm not saying it verbatim, but he hoped you don't get tripped up over the simplicity that is in your hour shot. All right? Because it's really just that simple, man. Jake, you want to be deep and shit, and you be wanting to be better than the next man, that's not what this thing is about because it's not our programming. It's the Lord's will that we doing here. Not, not something that we feel like doing or what we wish it could be. Hell, you know, some of these guys who fell out, we actually liked them. You know what I mean? But it was the Lord's will for them to fall out. All right? The Lord didn't like them. Right, the Lord didn't like them. And that's ultimately the final, the, the, the foot down, all right? That's final say-so. We hope we endure to the end. All right, go ahead, bro. You had some too? Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to get you on this is Lamentations 2 and 15. It says, All that pass by 
clap their hands if the they hiss and wag their head. And when you look in the term for hiss in Hebrew, it talks about uh, it's mocking, how the other nation mock us. And then when uh, you look into the Hebrew term for wag, it talks about how they shake their head like, yeah, you probably got it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, All right. Man. Hey, ain't, ain't that something, though? Because yeah. mm -hmm. the other nations, especially mm -hmm. them, them motherfucking Ishmaelites, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, we, we going to beat your wild asses in the kingdom, man. But yeah, you be especially Ishmael, man. Hey, they walk around knowing, and they 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 like laugh at that shit. It, it's they love it, and it goes right into the scripture because they walk around and they like, yeah, these niggas don't even know who they are. <laughs> I'm gonna call him black just cause. How does it feel being a black man in America? Like they fucking with you. They know you in Israelite. Yeah. yeah. You can go up to a lot of them and they gas station and everything. We the Israelite. Yeah, but we got we got next in the kingdom. They think they got the next kingdom coming, man. Yeah, cause the, cause the lie in the Quran tells you that. God, they got faith what they call this shit. Right. While the Muslims supposed to get together and take over the world. Right. Talking about the yeah. son of Sarah gonna take. Like, no, that's not. Yeah. That's, then you breaking down the scripture wrong, and the Quran is off. All right. You know, but yeah, like they don't know who you are, man. Esau know who you are. And you know, and that's why, that's why when we come out and do the work, they get mad, man. Cause they like, all right, this shit growing now. We gotta start, we gotta start doing something about this, or it's gonna get out of control. Which is, it's too late now, we saw. You got the celebrities. You got the, the whole vibration of Israel is being pushed out now, man. Our people don't want to perm no more, man. They want to go natural. Having a beard is cool, huh? I was just gonna say that. Yep, yep. Having a beard is cool. Jake, you call me brother, man. I'm hearing Jake use the word brother. I did work with, like this brother right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the vibration changing, man. Yep, it's changing. They ain't going with nigga. They ain't going with none of that. Hey, they. Hey, Jake, starting to get back into that spirit of man. Let me tell you something about these bitches, man. These bitches, they don't understand how it feel to be us. Hey, they getting into that spirit now. They like. I heard a Jake overheard a Jake at work. Uh, man, let me tell you something about these motherfucking bitches, man. He 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 got into it. You know, calling them bitches and everything. Loud. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, them curses hitting his ass probably. Yeah. <laughs> turn his ass up. Yep, turn them that, up. That, that would have happened. You would snap mm -hmm. out. You, you tell somebody you don't even know about some shit. <laughs> yep. And that's how you know with all these things that were put against us. Somehow these people make it through the worst slavery ever and then start coming back out then not too long after that slavery in the 1900s men back teaching that they Israelites. Now the prophets, the same people that, that, that are here, they're now prophesying in America condemning the kingdom this is all the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That is nothing but true power. Who who could come back from that without without a true power like that behind them, man? Only Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai can do that, man. And that's why, especially in these times, our faith should be higher than ever, man. You should be on fire for this thing, man. Okay, like the brother Mike Mike Allah said, it's like it. Okay. Uh, the brother made a point. Jake in jail waking up. Oh, yeah, even Jake in a prison, man. Hey, it, man, you shouldn't be in the spirit of three videos is too much. Nigga, Taco Bell is too much. See, the seeing fucking fags is too much. That's a video in itself. Right. The, 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 woman, the, the woman being fucking over me is too much. Over these bros is too much. Way too much. All right? This, this is some bullshit, man. <laughs> GMO food, too much. Chemtrails in my fucking air, too much. Small ass grapes with fucked up soil because nobody keeping the land Sabbath. I can't keep the Sabbath for my power. That's fucking too much, man. Nine dollars right? an hour. Yeah, I mean. But then, yeah, yeah, nine dollars an hour and shit, man. But then somebody talk about it's fucking too much, man. We can't do enough for you, how about some of y'all shot, man? Come. That's why even in the scriptures it tell you that, uh, um, that. Uh, uh, Paul in the New Testament he said that this is gonna be like a um, 
for all that the Lord is going to give us, we're going to look back on this hell and be like, man, that's it? Right. Damn, how much, how much we going to have in the kingdom, we'll look back here and be like, Shh, man, that wasn't shit. <laughs> shit compared to what we got now. I'm going to bring it out, bro. Yeah, wait. Go ahead. All right, this is uh, a. Oh, quick one. Yeah, I was still on the quick one. I was just gonna say what you were talking about, Paul said. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's get that real quick. Yeah, we're gonna get. It. All right, this is uh, Saint Corinthians, chapter four, verse seventeen. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a four more seed and eternal weight of glory. Exactly. They call it a light affliction, man. Right. Three videos. It's too much. He said Yahweh Shai was in the temple daily, teaching, daily, every day. All right, every day. What was what was the apostles doing? Are these not our examples? That's all they was doing. They said, Lord, we gave up everything, our families, our homes, everything that we did to go teach and to push the word. What should we get in return? Because they had to ask the Lord that, like, well, okay. We ain't got nothing. This is all we doing. So who we getting returned? But we we ain't got no life. They couldn't go home and be with the wife. They were gone, man. Teaching. Then when they wasn't teaching, where were they at? By the Lord. Learning. Listening. <coughs> talking about different things. Fuck me. But hey, man, we got to stand the spirit. We blessed to be in this thing, man. Take it seriously. Or the Lord gonna take you out. The apostles they had YouTube, man. They had to okay. actually travel, man. They ain't had 2017 cars, man. You know, they had boats, horse, walking. Right. All right. They, they 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 had to really label label, man. You know, this is a light affliction, man. Right. What happened? They got beat with stripes and locked up. Shipwreck. Shipwreck. Chased down by heathens. Matter of fact, when they got beat with stripes and got locked up, they told them they don't teach in his name no more. Then after they got out, they asked where they were. Yeah. We seen them down there teaching. <laughs> so you talking about three videos? Yeah. Come on, man! <laughs> like right after, right after the punishment. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, we finna go keep teaching. Yeah, they sit down there. Yeah, they sit down there. <laughs> yeah, they. Oh yeah, they teaching. Yeah, they teaching right now. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead, brother. And back in Lamentations two and fifteen. All that pass by clap their hands at thee as they celebrate, they hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All you hear that, Jake? <clears throat> Our city was called the perfection of beauty. Look at us mm -hmm. on crack, yeah. fucked up, woman cursing you out, children grow up and fucking turn on you. Overcome product of the streets. We eating bullshit. Blunted out. Drunk as fuck all the time. Hey man. <laughs> that ain't the perfection of beauty. Alright? This is this is I mean, our women, it say that our women were so delicate they didn't put they uh, uh sole of their foot on the ground, man. They, they had pretty ass feet that they wouldn't even let touch nothing outside or anything near dirty. Look at our women now. Musty. Right. And had all these different men. They walked straight outside. You can see them playing with no, with, with no flip flops, nothing on, man. Just out in the street on concrete, running around. Black bottom of their feet, all this different shit. Fucking Harriet Tubman rag on. Yep. In the ancient world, they didn't even put their foot on the ground. Exactly. So I, uh, we threw, man. You know? Verse 16. All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They are confederate against thee. Go ahead. They say we have swallowed, swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. We have found. We have seen it. Going mm -hmm. back to Psalms 83. Come Verse 17, the Lord have done that which he had devised. He hath fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He hath thrown down and have not pity, and he hath caused thy enemy to rejoice over thee. He mm -hmm. hath set, set up the horn 
of that adversary. Mm -hmm. The harm means power. Mm -hmm. So that's why they rule. And we'll end it with joy. Uh, we we good now. Uh, this is Book of Lamentation, chapter three, uh, verse twenty-one. This I recall to mind. Therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. Exactly. It's of the Lord's mercy that our nation didn't even die off, man. Because hey, man, Esau was running it, man. The nations they were trying to kill us all completely, man. Mm -hmm. But we still here. And not only that, the Lord's men are still here, most importantly. And the elect, the elect are here, and the elect are still doing the same thing they've been doing, Lord willing, that's us. In which, really, we are the elect because we're doing what the elect do. Lord willing, we continue in that spirit, and that's who we'll be. All right? Because we're prophesying, we're doing everything that they did, and we're prophesying the downfall of this society. And look at all the things that working against Jake, man, especially the Israelite man. All right, you got the uh, prison system. All right, you got uh, the abortion rate almost at fifty percent. You got a fifty percent chance of being born. All right, then you have the evil eye. All right, Jake killing each other. All right, then you have the the the, the GMO, man. You know, so just like scripture says, so the Lord's mercy we ain't consuming. Look at all these things that are coming against us. The prison house is full, and the abortion rate is high. And we still, all right, uh, uh, standing on our feet, prophesying the downfall of this kingdom, man. The, uh, the, the disease rate. The disease come. come. <laughs> every yeah. other auntie and uncle is dead. Mm -hmm. Council, high blood pressure, whatever. Every other uncle or auntie basically is dead. Yeah, strokes and shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. This is Psalms 2. I'm sorry, one of those uh, before. Why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Kings of earth have set against them. Like, kings of earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against mm -hmm. the most high. Yep, so yeah, going all the way back to it. They taking counsel against the Lord, man. And how, do, how are they doing that here on earth? By going against his people. Matter of fact, in the Daniel chapter 7, it tells you that this place is filled with the blood of the saints, man. So guess what? They were killing us here, man. So pretty much most of our brothers and our, most of us brothers, Lord will, we are those men. We died in our past life, back then and, and here. Killed, not just natural death. Some did, but a lot of us were killed, man. Killed here. And against and knowing the same, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. He that sit in the heavens shall laugh, and most I shall have them in derision. Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, it's self explanatory, man. You know, yep. and just even going back to how the men of the Lord were killed, exiled, and all that, <laughs> even here in America during the slavery times and all of that. Is because that same spirit, if we are of the elect, that same spirit that's in us now was in us then. All right. All right. So that means the slavery, this whole goddamn society never set right with us. You know, you the same person that you was back then, sitting, coming back to the to the uh, cabin or whatever after picking cotton and talking about the wickedness. This shit ain't right. That damn, I don't give a damn. Ready to fight and everything. You know? That's, that's, that's how, it, just like how we do now, man. We talk about this wickedness. We sigh and we cry. Mm -hmm. That's what we're supposed to do. We prophets, man. We're teachers. We're the men of the Lord coming back. All right? But yeah, brothers had anything else? Uh, no, so he said that how about Shema Hashem gonna laugh, man. Mm. All right? Because he knows how this thing gonna play out. You know, Esau really planning, he sweating like, yeah, we got him, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. <laughs> Not knowing that how about Shema Asha already got set up. I'm going to raise my men up. And they going to, it say that the men of the Lord, all right, going to be throwing down chariots, all right, uh, uh, horses and they riders. And what that is today, that's those fighter jets and those tanks, man. Say so his men going to be doing it. We going to be his battle axe. 
So he laughing because they doing all this planning. He and he, how about she might shot like they don't have no idea. Joseph all right. Yeah, they, Joseph you know, they, they have no idea, all right, that they got the house of David in slavery. But I'm gonna give them their power back on a whole nother level though, man. Yep. That's spiritual know? power, man. Okay. And going back with this, what the brother read in uh, Psalms chapter 2, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords. They don't want us to uh, come back come back together. Mm. You know, going back to uh, to them consulting against us and taking their crafty counsel because bands hold you together. So they want to keep us divided. You know, a, uh, that, that's Esau's whole uh, MO, divide mm. and conquer. Yeah. You know, he did it, he did it to uh, the northern tribes. When you had Gad and all that stuff, Hey, they turned part of Gad against each other, man. So you had part of the tribes that was uh, 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 subscribing to the so-called white man, the Edomites. And then you had the other ones like, no, nah, we ain't fucking with them. So what ends up happening? They start fighting amongst each other. Esau swoops in. And he helps the people that's helping him. Swoops in, takes out the rest of the people with integrity. Saying, hey man, this damn devil, he comes from a lot of angles, man. Oh, man. All right, and that was the, the main part of the lesson. You had a closing one, bro? Yeah, come on. All right, go ahead. From Ills to Zach. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 43, verse 30. When you glorify the Lord, it's all him as much as you can. For even yet will he far exceed, and when he is out him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. So what the hell is three videos a week? What the hell is three videos a week when the, when the scriptures just said you can never go far enough? So uh, three videos a week, that's a, uh, a bare minimum. Three videos a week, you know, uh, at least 10 minutes long, that's a bare minimum. You can do, the scripture, the scripture just said you can never go far enough. So really you're supposed to have it in your spirit even though, you know, that is that is the order and uh and the apostle he set the uh the standard, but at the same time, you're supposed to have it in your spirit of not just looking at it like, okay, I gotta fill this quota. I need to I can do more, you know? Hey, Kyle, brothers, yeah, so I just wanted to uh, kind of live back up with what the brothers were speaking about. You know, we're living in a great time, man. You know, a lot of people, they think that this is a, a well, a lot of two-thirds, they're going to wake up and find out that they're in a bad case. But the men of the Lord, Lord willing, that's us, and we endure to the end, like brothers, like the elders said earlier. We're going to, uh, hey, man, we're about to inherit everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of this work that we're doing, you know, like the, like the elder was just going into, you know, three, three videos a, a week ain't nothing, man. But remember also, too, the work that we did in the ancient world, man. You know, all of that all of that preceded us through the spirit power, Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai. And now we're about to get rewarded. Real quick, brother, uh, can you grab uh, uh, Revelation 11 and 18, please? One of these brothers. Come on, come on, brothers on it. Come on, man, because... Because, uh, hey, man, uh, they about to, the Lord's about to judge. The Lord's about to judge these nations, man, for what they did to us, man. Go ahead, brother. I just, uh, Revelation 11 18. And the nation, were, and the nation were angry and were wroth. And the wrath. And the wrath was come at the time of the dead that should be judged and that should, should know us, give reward unto the servants, the prophet, and, and to the saints. And to the saints, and them that fear, and them that fear the, thy name, small and great, and shall destroy them with the straw of the earth. Kai. Kai, that's right, because, uh, because, hey, you Edomites and the rest of you nations, you've been destroying this earth, man. Starting off with the Lord's people, man. You've been destroying this earth. You've been defiling the earth. You've been defiling the Lord's people. You even defile the Lord's name, man. Come Two girls are doing the same thing, but now the Lord is about to reward his saints, those that believe in him, those that believe in his son, okay? And we giving him, he, give, he gave us his word, man, and his word, the Lord said his word don't go out void. It don't come back void, Salaki, it don't come back void. 
So all the things that Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai promised the, his people, starting off with the elect of his people, guess what? We're living in that time. We're actually doing this. And sometimes it's hard for me to even believe, you know, but hey, it's all spiritual. The water Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, but not forgetting us, man. Because in the world, everybody forgot us, man. In the world, we, we're, hey, matter of fact, the nations, they try to forget us, man, but it's it's hard as hell because we, we still, our people still shining, even in the lowest state. So I just wanted to say that, hey, yo, this is a beautiful, beautiful time that we're living in because mm-hmm. the Lord is about to reward us, man. He's about to reward us in, in, in totality, man, permanently, perpetually, man. And we ain't had to set out to do it. Even if we got to lose our measly life down here, Guess what? Let's lose it for you. How about Shimmy How about Shai, man? It's, we, have to, we have that mark where we got to continue to keep on pressing on and pushing on and asking the Lord for strength and for forgiveness, for repentance. Also, at the same time, hey, we got to endure, bro, because this is a great time we're living in. And I just wanted to mention that. And I just wanted to bring out the magnitude of that because, hey, look where we at, man. We, we're almost there, man. So with that, Shalom, Akin, Yahweh, Shimmy, Shabbat, Shalom, Yahweh, Shimmy, Shabbat, Shalom, 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 Hey, we we in a great time, man. We're in a great time, man. All right, we we blessed to be in this position. We blessed to be able to do the work amongst each other, man, and to do it for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai ultimately. All right, prophesying the downfall of a nation. We we over here prophesying the downfall. We prophesying it right, mm-hmm. saying it before it happened. So when it do happen. And you see that the Lord was behind these words. Hey, man, that's going to, the feeling is going to be great, man. The kingdom of heaven, hey, man, that's going to be a great feeling. Spiritual power, man, see, you know, brothers deal with health. And hell, when you feel healthy, when you feel healthy, man, you feel real good. Think when the Lord unlocks you, man, unlocks your potential. And you able to, you able to turn up, man. Like, we, we, hey, we, hey, we here. And and we, we here. We finally made it, man. Time. Back then in, in our past life, we was always asking the Lord when we was amongst him, hey, when, when, when you coming back? Like, is, is it time for the kingdom now? Grinning. And he like, nah. <laughs> you know, and now we here. It's right. time for the kingdom now. Can I, look, can nope. I say something? The, the, uh, the smallest thing the Lord could do is, uh, is tap into your pituitary gland and make you taller. That's, oh, that's yeah. the smallest thing that, you, that uh, you'll be able to do with spiritual power. You know? Mm-hmm. The brother got a scripture. If I can add, you know, oh, in spiritual power, where, where does it start at? In your mind. That's why Yahweh Shah always told the disciples you got to believe. Mm-hmm. You believe you can move this mountain, man. You know, and that's why knowledge is power. And if you gonna find out in the, in this setup, we got obstacles in our mind to overcome those little fear demons you have. That's part of coming back to the kingdom, man. Mm-hmm. Unlocking those chambers in your mind. You've been a prisoner in your own mind. You know. God. And if I can just say, you said, you know, it's gonna be a beautiful thing once we turn up. Well, Esau painted a picture with Lucy. You know, mm-hmm. if y'all seen that movie, she yeah. had a hundred percent control of uh, of, um, of, her, of her of her brain, man. So she had spiritual power, man. She yeah. was able to basically manipulate the elements, which was a, a great movie, man. Which uh, Lucy that goes into Lucifer, God, which means right. light bearer. Right. But see, Esau he bears the light on the left hand side. Mm-hmm. We're gonna bear the light mm-hmm. on the right hand side. That's why Yahweh Shai said in Revelation chapter two, he would give unto us the morning star That's right. mm-hmm. and power. We're going to be those righteous light bearers, man. Yeah. The righteous Lucifers. You mm-hmm. know, folks get mad at that right At, at the word, yeah. Yo, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. No. Make a man an offender for a word. Right, we're not Satanists. Come right? on, grow up, man. <laughs> hey, but one thing that we're going to have uh, 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 some control of in the kingdom of heaven is Satan. How do you think we're going to be able to uh, put uh, bring famines on these other nations? We're going to have to call somebody to do it. That's Satan. Those demons. So we're going to be calling demons on disobedient uh, people, man. We're going to be putting demons on them. But you know what? This guy ain't right, man. Throw some demons on him to teach him a lesson. You know? That's what the Lord did to Nebuchadnezzar, man. He had him out in the field. <laughs> like, he, 
Nebuchadnezzar, real time, thought he was an animal, man. And he was acting like one. His nails grew out, his hair. He was brandished, <laughs> eating, eating out the field and everything. He came back a believer. Time. When the Lord put the uh, mind in him. But anyway, that's another, uh, that's a whole other uh, topic right there. Yeah, can I say something too? Hey, uh, the Burning Bush Project, stop posting scriptures from the Quran. We don't use the Quran, man. All right. At first, you know, I thought you was using it to, you know, make a point, but we don't use the Quran. All right, we use the Holy Bible. All right. Well, you yeah. burn, burn that shit up. Man. Yeah. Burn the Quran. You know, the burning Quran. That's what you should yeah. do. Well, we might need the Quran. We run out of tissue or paper towels, <laughs> things of that nature. Right. We spill something. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there's a Quran. <laughs> Brother, you keep those extra Quran. Let me mop this floor up real quick. Right. You know. You know, we gotta keep trash cans full. You know what I mean? You know what it's a uh, Sirach chapter 36, verse 16. <laughs> hey man, your keyboard should catch on fire, man. Post the Quran scriptures, man. It's just out of nowhere to catch on fire, man. I'll be Eating a turkey sandwich and shit, talking about how he think it should be done. You know, go ahead. <laughs> Take it crazy. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 36, verse 16. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. Mm -hmm. Reward them that wait for thee. And the prophets are being found faithful. And brother speaking on the spiritual power and having that faith and believing, it starts in the mind. That's, and as you can see, these same men got that faith. That's why Nate talked about us, man. Mainly us amongst Great Millstone. Faith-based Israelites ain't got no backup plan or nothing. No, we don't. We believe in Yahweh Shah. That's our plan. <laughs> That's our plan. This life ain't ain't this ain't living. We died when we were born here. Alright? We were better off in the spirit world, waiting for the end of this society. But we here. And, and hey, we believe, we know when the income and martial law and all this. We don't know what the fuck we gonna do. Why? Cause we ain't worried about what we gonna do. We just know the Lord gonna take care of us. That's why these type of men get spiritual power, all right? Cause, cause we believe no matter what uh, that the Lord gonna come through for us. And and like I say, it starts with that faith, man. That's why you. That's why people call us crazy. Because we get in a jammed up situation and a man of the Lord be calm. And we be having to the world to the world, these thoughts would be crazy. Well, you know, if I'm meant to die, I just die. But on another note, you know, hey Lord, send the an angel. They get the spiritual power. There's no telling. Hey Lord, just gonna whatever his will is, that's what's about to go down. I get the power though. Hey, you be thinking some thoughts like that to everybody else. If they could hear you think out loud, it's going to go crazy. Yeah, that's what going to say. I told him he owns some shit. I knew it. <laughs> but knowledge and wisdom be the stability of our time. So that's what exactly. going to in the right man, in the right proposal. Exactly. What we won't, what we won't snap out of mm -hmm. it. And they'll be like, when the shit going on, they're going to be looking at us like, hey, what's wrong? He, he, he must be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. They're they, they going to still say yep. that shit. So yep. see, we, yeah. It ain't no way around. Yep. At, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Right, so right, we're going right, to be looked right. at as crazy because, like you said, we're going to be calm. And we're going to be right. laughing at them like, uh, yeah. Yep. Hey, matter of fact, Pilate, Pontius Pilate looked funny at the Lord because he was so calm. Like, wait a minute, man. You Look, you about to be put to death. What you do? Like, what's going on? He, he wasn't even saying nothing to him. Then when Pontius Pilate started getting proud, you know I got power over your life. That's when the Lord starts talking to him then. Like, all right, this is, he getting proud. Right, 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 you know right, I can right. call legions of angels down here, right? Take this whole kingdom, you know? But I'm not, you know? So he, he was so calm and so uh, full of knowledge and wisdom, and, and that was a good scripture that you quoted brother because that's an example of that knowledge and wisdom was the of at this time because he knew so yeah so even punch Pilate got scared after like this ain't no ordinary dude that they trying to put to death right 
I'm like, man. Y'all wash my hands. All right. He's like, I ain't got nothing what, to do with this. What y'all got going on? <laughs> <laughs> Israelites got going on. All right. Yeah. yeah. This dude right here is on, he's on a different, like, I ain't, because you don't meet a guy like that. You expect him to be pleading for his life or justifying himself or something. But you have a guy who did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong, but still accepting the death, everything, man. Apostle Paul. When they oh, when yeah. when uh when uh Agabus and them was saying how he was gonna be gonna be bound and brought to Jerusalem, he was like, basically, why you crying for me? What 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 mean ye to weep and break my heart? Like man, why you feeling bad for me? I'm re I'm ready to be prison a uh, prison uh, uh up and uh and put to death. Like I'm ready, you know. Yeah, they knew they was gonna die. They knew it. All of them knew it. They knew that time was gonna come, man. But yeah, that's why they call us crazy for doing this thing, man. And like I say, we was getting on Psalms 83 earlier, and the Spirit had to where the brother chimed in, to, to uh, which was, it was all through the Spirit, to, to magnify that point of time that we're in. For not only for us to just come out of Psalm 83, or that crafty council, and make it through that, but, but have this Spirit, have the ancient world Spirit going hard, with all the knowledge of the scriptures. They didn't have it all then. We got it all now. And hey, push it. And guess what? Even these other Israelite guys that they may be going off and different stuff like that. But <laughs> hey, they try to keep up, man. So when they see brothers pushing and pushing, they try to they try to do their little two videos. They try to get it in once or twice throughout the week. You know, you be seeing them trying to keep up, man. Hey, but the vibration is going out in Israel, man. Oh. And we, hey, we that people. And our Lord is coming back, and he's coming back very soon. And trust me, that chip right here, man. All right? Damn. It's right here, and they're getting ready to throw it on folks, man. That cryptocurrency, if you brothers heard of it, it makes it easy for Esau to collapse his economy, man. Collapse the dollar, and, and that's still going to have value. And he's going, all right, we need to move this in. All right, but yeah, go any closing statements. But yeah, Lord will you, bros, were edified, man. Uh, um, want to give all praises once again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and with that, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Barakatham Shalom.